what's up good morning everybody it is thanksgiving morning 8 30 a.m it is about 40 degrees out here it's pretty chilly um but i had a few hours and i wanted to redeem myself from yesterday's trip to lake alatoona so uh hickory log usually treats me a little better and we're gonna see what we find today i'm gonna go ahead and retie quick tip for you guys retie often the day you catch that big fish if you break off you're gonna be upset um, and that just gives you a little bit more security so do it it, it takes what 20 seconds but it's worth your time so we'll, let's see what we find Tied my stuff. We're gonna see if these fish are still where I'm hoping they are. And if not, we'll, we'll figure something out. But uh, you can see my my little mount. I did a video. Um, super easy. Anybody can make it happen. Anybody can do this. I'm not a pro by any means. Obviously, I know you guys can tell. But. Uh, and see if we can get on some big ones this morning. All right, so I wanted to show you guys something on the graph, but I am not seeing them for whatever. Oh, here they are. I, so this this is what I see. Look at all this. This is all bait fish. Those arcs are all bass. Um, the bigger dots here are the bass there. They should correlate. So I'm imaging, you can see both sides of the boat. It's, it's just stacked. So th this is not where I originally intended to come, but I didn't see anything on the graph when I was there. I just saw some things blow up here, graphed around. As you can see, there's something there, so let's see if we can get on these fish. But I am going to uh, start with what's been working. That's been that little hatch spin and a spoon. I like the hatch spin because it gets down fast. In theory, bigger fish on the school will be at the bottom. That's not always accurate. That's just what I learned from YouTube, so I'm not an expert. Let's get off this bank here. Oh, they're right under me now. All right, let's keep backing up. There's, I don't know, probably 15 bass. So there's a drop off. So I'm, I'm backing up into the creek channel, I believe. They're right around 20 foot of water. And this water temp is just under 53. There's more behind me. All right, let's keep keep going back. I see a balloon up over there. Oh, that was a bump. Come on, commit. Let's try this one. Top a little beta ball, ball of bait. This place is covered with bait fish. Yeah, they're hanging out right on the drop off. Good. Off the bank, it planes out about 10 feet and then it drops down to about 15. And that's where I'm seeing most of these fish. My hands are cold, man. I need to buy some gloves. We got a few hits on the spoon. We got one hit on that tail spinner. That's 
see a lot of bass at 40 to 25 feet. They seem active. I don't know what's, why I can't catch them. Oh, there they are blowing up at the point. Jeez, man. Why can't I make sense of today? These guys look like they're coming straight to me. They know what I know. Alright, back to this little guy. Started closer to the bank. I don't know if that beat something. There's so many fish under me. get these these bass to notice my lure. So we got three fish on, two fish in the boat. I might move off of this pool. I don't know. They seem very finicky. Let's try a hair jig. I've never not really used this either so Alright, let's see how long it takes to sink. About five feet. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. About two and a half feet every Mississippi.
Bears with this. This may mean is this is half ounce lure maybe so slower fall which I don't know why the spoon wasn't working if that's the case but. slower fall right giving them the chance to to watch it and then grab it might might be the thing but I, I've never used a hair jig in my life uh, successfully first cast we got one. We've been on some schooling fish but they've been real finicky. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can find another school. And right, I'm just going to troll around and beat the bank with a square bill. See if I can get some reaction strikes. But I think we've caught three or four fish. Nothing great. These guys have been trolling around me for a while. Looks like they they want to fish my spot. So we'll, we'll let them. If they can figure it out, that's fine. There's a lot of fish, but they're not that active. Or they are active, but they're not biting whatever I throw there. I don't see anything here. All right, guys, so what I found to be true the previous three times I've been here is still true, just not in the same place. The bass have moved, but they're still schooling. I'm uh, going to troll this bank and see if I can find anything on the grass. There's a few fish. I don't see any bait, though. So I don't know that these are active. They're just might be chilling. So there very well may be fish in other places, but it looks like they're all hanging out. They're going deeper. They're on Main Lake, but they're going deeper than they were before. And uh, I'm not catching a whole lot, even though I see a lot. And I'm curious, I'm just gonna try. The, the wind is blowing this way. I'm gonna try going up into this channel and see if See if the, the current has pushed anything in there. to all those fish that are schooling. I'm gonna keep trying that spoon and let's see if we can we can make something happen today. <sighs> Where did all these fish go? Let's see.
wagon that's on the bottom. Reduce the bike. Holy cow, let me finish too. Holy cow, good fish. Let's find his pliers. He swallowed this thing. Three pounds, 3.04. That was good. Compared to uh, my recent trips. Um, definitely should have had the net out. Let's get this released. Awesome. That was cool. What? It was a uh, 3.04, no, three pounds. All right, so that fish, I uh, throwing the same lure I've been throwing. This, and I've, I've been, uh, what I've been doing is letting this sink to the bottom and just kind of jigging it off the bottom. For that cast, I just let it sit and I dragged it real slow. Um, I thought I was bumping into a rock and I kind of, I, I think I'll check the footage, but I think I kind of tried to set the hook and then I let it go back down. And then it felt like I was bumping into rocks again, but I wasn't moving for sure this time. Um, and that's where we hooked up with this guy. All right, well, we're about done for the day. Glad I caught that one. Made it worth it. All right, guys. We are heading back to the ramp. Um, we only had two and a half, three hours to fish today. And uh, so we found them. And I kept searching for some more, but it ended up being, a, I think that's where they're at. They're starting to move farther up the creek channel, deeper water. They have real easy access from zero feet all the way to 90 feet of water um, and so that I think that's where these bass are gonna hang out for this winter um, that's just my guess I don't know we'll see but we did catch that one good fish off the bottom um, and like I mentioned I've, I think a lot of those bigger fish are hanging out down at the bottom just waiting for for an easy free meal so we'll see, I'll keep you updated on what the pattern looks like, what changes. But for right now, we're, we're still schooling, we're still in the fall to winter transition. So I appreciate you guys watching, I hope this helps you some and uh, hopefully I'll have more info for you later.